Hello, good morning, or good day, greetings. <laughs> this video is for those of you who have starter locks, whether they are um, twist, two strand twist locks, or comb coil locks. I will make an updated video at some point in the future that has an actual demonstration of someone with locks. I was going to actually just twist my hair for the sake of the video and I ended up braiding it into these um, knotless braids. But we're gonna just still do the demonstration. So for this, um, for taking care of your locks, when, you're, when it's time to shampoo your locks, you're gonna wanna use a stocking cap when you have starter locks, okay? When they're new, when they're less than um, three months old. You're gonna wanna use a wig cap, a stocking cap, and your shampoo and a uh, shower head, <clears throat> or you know, the shower, or whatever. My teacher wants me to drop. Okay, so uh, you just need those three, those two things, you know, the whatever, wherever you're gonna wash your hair, whether it's the shower or underneath the bath faucet, your wig cap, stocking cap, and your shampoo that you're gonna use. You're gonna wanna use a sulfate-free um, shampoo, a sulfate-free one. Um, a clarifying sulfate free shampoo. Um, I prefer, I like the Moroccan oil brand, the blue bottle, Moroccan oil, that's one word. Here's what their packaging looks like. This Moroccan oil, I know there are, um, you know, other ones on the market that are not the same, that are like knockoffs of that, but I do really prefer that brand and the clarifying shampoo. I do have it available in stock, so if you would like to order some through me, just inbox me and I can ship you out a bottle um, at the retail price. So let's go ahead and begin. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hair, <clears throat> your comb coils in whatever state that they're in, you're gonna take your, um, your comb coils or your two strand uh, twist. And then with your stocking cap, you're gonna just place it on your head, okay? This is a two pack. Place your stocking cap on your head to protect your scalp and tuck as much of your hair in as you can. Usually with a new twist, you can usually still tuck all of your hair into your stocking cap. It doesn't have to be anything pretty or neat. Really the purpose here is to keep all of your hair safely in place without it being moved or disturbed. From there, you're gonna saturate your hair with water. So only once you have your cap on is when you're gonna get your hair wet. Put the cap on, run your head under the water, let it get wet in the shower. Once your hair is soaking wet, take your shampoo, rub it, emulsify it, emulsify it in between the palms of your hands and your fingertips, and then you're going to just gently dab it onto your scalp, onto your, onto your scalp through your stocking cap. All right, then from then, just using the pads of your fingers, not your nails, not the tips of your nails, but just the pads of your fingers, you're going to just gently scrub your scalp, okay, so that your scalp is clean, and then you can just kind of squeeze it to squeeze it, uh, to squeeze your, to get your hair clean, and then you're going to rinse your hair under the water, let the water run over your hair, let it rinse through your stocking cap, okay. This is at the beginning of the shower. So then while you're washing your your body, then you can still let the water. I wouldn't mind bringing to school. Virtual learning. Uh, while the water runs on your head while you shower, it can continue rinsing. Okay? Once you feel confident that you've thoroughly rinsed your hair, you're going to leave your stocking cap on. Grab your towel. Oh, I forgot to mention you need a towel. And just pat dry your hair. Just pat. Pat it dry with the towel. Keep your cap on your head. From there, you're gonna keep your cap on. You're gonna pull up on me and I'm gonna retwist your hair. I will take your cap off at your hair appointment and I will hand it back to you. You can take it home, throw it in the washing machine or just hang it up in the shower so that the next time that you're coming for your hair appointment, which is gonna be in two to three weeks, then you can just shampoo your hair again. If you feel like you really need to shampoo your hair in between time, you can always use a dry shampoo or or you can use a scalp cleaner. So the two that I like and the two that I usually recommend or refer for people who are starting their locks and are also used to shampooing their hair way more frequently, I really like this here surface um, dry shampoo. Um, and so it's just surface Trinity dry shampoo. Um, it leaves no, re it's residue free. So you, sh you shake it up, you spray it um, in your hair. You don't have to rinse it. 
And then you can also use this here, Apple Cider Vinegar Root Relief by Cantu Shea Butter. Retails for about $7. Um, and you can usually pick that up at any beauty supply store. This one right here, you could order through me, okay? I hope that helps answer your questions. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below and I will do what I can to answer them. Um, or you can text me directly if you're someone who's here that I already do. Thank you so much. Have a great, great day.